book so in this video I am just chilling like literally chilling twisting my hair I was watching YouTube as I was twisting my hair and I was like catching up on like my weekly videos and you know something was placed on my heart to speak on so we gonna speak on it while I'm twisting the rest of my hair but I just want to talk about the little like the reviews that's going on oh, my hair look a mess but um all i did was so i washed my hair yesterday i um braided it just so um it could dry and kind of be stretched out and now i am just going in and like two hand twisting it um the products that i'm using is the Myel avocado moisturizing hair milk um I, then I'm going in with the cream of nature pure honey twisting uh, twisting cream I am like down to the last drop like I only got this little corner left um, and then I am using the wet line extreme this is the last one that I have so I am like treasuring this with pride <laughs> but um yeah and i'm just going in two hand twisting um, i'm going to i'm doing it in like a little style because i'm going to keep it in my hair for two to three days just so it could you know drip like dry up real cute and all of that but yeah that's all i'm doing but i want to talk about and then axel's right here axel come say hi come say hi axel say, say hi axel Okay, okay. I just want to talk about the reviews for the Tar Taraji P. Hansen um, hairline. So I'm not saying everybody's review is wrong. And I mean, everybody's review could be right. I just feel like sometimes people be doing the most and they feel like in order for like me to get reviews or something like that, I have to dog a product and, and instead of being like honest. Like, I know this product gotta be working on somebody's hair te texture. Like, it just can't be wrong on everybody's hair texture. But, I mean, and if it, if it is, then it is. Um, I haven't tried it because for one, the price point. I, um, I'm in the kids room as well if y'all see toys. This is the kids slash Axel's room and this is where they play. Let me see. But yeah, this is where they play. But like I told myself that I wasn't going to buy any more like hair products just because of like the hype or whatever. I just feel, I, I just hope people aren't like dogging the product just to get views or whatever. And if like all of the reviews are honest, like if all of the reviews are honest, then I hope she is like listening and like taking notes and then, you know, come back and correct it. And I feel like if she comes back and she correct it, I mean... It's kind of bad because people are saying that their hair is falling out. Like, I don't know how true that is. I, I just don't know. Like, I wonder if people are reading the instructions and following what she's saying. Like, how to apply the product or whatever. But I, I was going to say, hopefully, if she comes back, we give her, like, an honest, uh, like, a, another trial, another try or whatever. But sometimes people be like... No, you want it done, which is messed up. The natural hair community, y'all could be ruthless. Like, y'all, y'all are ruthless. Every time a celebrity come out, they literally say the same thing. Like, they said the same thing about um, Tracy's, I was about to call it y'all. They said the same thing about Tracy's hairline. They said the same thing about um, some makeup. They said, like, they say the same thing. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's just show hair. Maybe, maybe you just need to cut your hair off and just start all over again. Maybe it's just you. Cause there's no way different hairlines 
with different like ingredients is doing the same thing to your hair like at this point it, it's you it's it's you like just cut your hair off and just start over um there was like one person that like i kind of like trust and what she was saying a lot of other people were saying as well move a lot of other people were saying the same to that as well like the flaking on one of the hair products so but i wonder i didn't watch their video all the way through so i don't know if i didn't even put no gel shoot but um i i just wonder if they were like mixing the products or or anything like that and if on the bottle it says you know use this use that like because products are made like when a company makes a line of product they make it so it can go together what you doing Axel? oh i mean i don't know i might try it i i don't know i'll do <laughs> i'm already bald headed my camera went dead so but basically i just want everybody to be truthful and if i mean like if something really sucks then okay something really sucks and i don't want brands to feel like just because people are giving their honest feedback that it's like shots to them or something like that because that's what we are on youtube for we're on youtube to give honest feedback so like our viewers and i don't want viewers to go off of what their favorite influencer is like advising of but a little suggestion never hurt nobody This is my hair after taking it down. Um, overall, it did good. Like, I like that combo. And that is my second time using that uh, hair milk. And I don't know where I've been, but I'm really gonna like incorporate that in every hairstyle that I do. Um, there is like some like dry right here but it is not due to the gel or like any other products it is due to the um like it's snowing real bad out here so it was like snowing and raining and i had like a hat on and that just that's just sweated out that's all that is but it has a hold and i'm loving that and it's like it's a hold as you can see it's like definition and all of that but it's like soft it's not crisp crusty well yeah it's not crusty it's not crunchy or anything like that and it has movement stiff wear stiff wear okay stiff <laughs> but i'm loving it it's cute and it looks it doesn't look dry you know but yeah thanks so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video bye and remember the important message of this video stay true to yourself don't be out here just saying anything and doing anything for clout if you like a product it's okay to say you like a product okay like you won't go to jail for saying you like something just be honest when you're doing a review if you're saying anything because there is power in your words so if you're downing a company just to down them, like that's wrong. Like let's be out here and uplifting people and giving constructive criticism versus just saying, you know, mean and hurtful things. Okay, okay. Bye guys.